Someone said, how do you set your motivation and inspiration on fire? Uh, there's a few things. So, really, besides having a purpose, which I'll talk about here in a second. Well, here's the first thing. You got to have a purpose. Maybe if you're starting off, your purpose is to have a cool house and a cool car and be rich. And that was, th there's a few purposes that I see a lot of beginner entrepreneurs. And a lot of people set out because they want to work less and, and make a lot of money. And that right there really won't get you the motivation or desire that you're looking for. It just, it just simply won't because if your goal of when you're working is to not work, you're not going to be really excited about what you're doing and you're not going to have the motivation. If your goal is just to make money, money's a symptom of, of having fun working and doing something well. It's a symptom of solving a big problem. And so that's like saying if you want to do well at, at World of Warcraft, your goal should be to hit level 80. But that's not, that's not the goal. Your goal needs to be to kill enough creatures to hit level 80. And so you're not really gonna have the motivation right there. So what you should do if you're beginning is you can have three different purposes, but the ones most people are gonna get is you have to find some way to trigger competition in yourself by either competing with other people. Um, so for example, you're gonna see a lot of entrepreneurs that get into this because their friends are doing it or they wanna prove people wrong or they're angry. Okay, and you gotta, you gotta set those big goals and stuff. So for example, a lot of people's goal is to get rich enough to prove other people wrong and compete with other people and win. And, and that can be a goal all in itself. But if your goal isn't to really win, if your goal isn't to be the best, if your goal isn't to beat other people, if your goal is just to like provide and stuff like that, you're not really gonna have that drive because nothing about it has anything to do with your emotional fulfillment. It all, it all has to do with just getting money in a bank account. That doesn't, that's not fulfilling. That's not gonna fulfill you or excite you. Nobody gets that, you have to really love the process and what you're doing. So that's one of the first things I would give you right there. Now you can also go for a higher purpose. So my higher purpose, and th that this is where the, the real juice comes from, but you don't really need this unless you wanna break 10 million a year. If you wanna break 10, 20, 50 million a year, you, you gotta really have another why, or you're gonna get really lost. And so that why is you have to have a vision. So our vision at Market Hero is to completely change how sales tracking is done. And then my why is to change how human beings live forever with a cybernext company and AI. But I'm not really gonna talk about that, and that's not really something like that. But you have to be excited about tomorrow. If you're not excited about tomorrow and what you're doing, it's gonna be impossible. Now, the other things that come into that is you have to have some level of happiness and energy, okay? You're not gonna have fun and you're not gonna be motivated if your energy levels are shit and you're not happy. And the way you really get happy is you have to fix your brain. You have to have clarity. You have to clear up all that brain fog by fixing your gut, improving your sleep, developing discipline and work habits, you know? You got to, I mean, those ones will get, get you right most of the way. If you fix your gut, you're going to clear up a lot of brain fog. If you fix your body and stuff like that, you're going to fix your sleep. If you master sleep, you're going to have a lot of energy. And if you develop good work habits and stuff like that, and you, you've learned to focus on stuff that actually brings you fulfillment and understand what brings you fulfillment, you're going to get a lot of happiness, and you're going to have the energy to do that. And so without these things right here, it's really, really, really fucking hard to go and become successful because you're just not gonna have the energy to be happy. If you think back to any time in your life, it's very unlikely that you ever achieved anything when you were unhappy or depressed and not enjoying what you're doing. Like you might have passed like a math class or something like that. You might have succeeded in algebra, but the God's honest truth is that you probably never did anything great or worthwhile or became or beat anybody else. Like if you if you pass algebra, graduate from college, guess what? Millions of people do that. If you graduated top five percent of your class, you probably didn't do that while you were unhappy and lethargic the entire time. You probably didn't do that unless you had a higher purpose to do that. You know, even geniuses fail at stuff when they're not engaged. So that's what you need to get into.